Yes, it is my pleasure to introduce Kazim Ali. His books encompass multiple genres, including poetry, novels, translation, memoir, and cross-genre texts. His newest books are a volume of three long poems entitled The Voice of Sheila Chandra from Alice James and a memoir of his Canadian childhood, Northern Light, Power, Land, and the Memory of Water from Milkweed. Kazim. Hi everyone, um, it's so exciting to be here uh, with all these people. It says that there's 88 participants. I think like twice in my life as a poet, I've read to more than like 20 people. <laughs> so, um, so this is kind of amazing. Uh, and it's great to see lots of old and new friends um, on the little list. So I just want to shout out Adrian Sue, who's in the audience. Who's a great, uh, who's an old friend and a wonderful sonneteer as well. So um, good to see you, Adrian, and good to see you, everybody. Um, I came to this tradition of the sonnet, uh, not by Keats nor Shakespeare, but by Berrigan. So um, uh, th that's my North Star uh, in the form of the sonnet. This book, The Voice of Sheila Chandra, the, the sonnets that I'll be reading to you from, uh, refer to the Indian devotional singer. Uh, in pop singer turned devotional singer who now can no longer sing, um, actually. So, uh, I'll read you. Breaks is constant, was like river, light on the river, river that remained a rift, an old rill that sounded. She merged with vibe, ration, of the drum, a hum, a home, womb, and um, she om moaned in the lone dark earth, come, Sheila, dame, ocean, dome, this poem, roam to tome, tomb, foam, original fountain that fed my mom, zum zum, when I was born. No more will I listen to other than a single note moaned, not known. I do not hear, think again, what place presents here a body as a battery of the one moment to open your mouth, to plug in. I will allow what I invented to find its color, make a shape which neither water nor sky do. How do you now in this contained shape go through your life, not like a constellation, not guessed at, intuited or divined, no name. So how do you discern a shape for what is often called God? Ocean is a dress a woman like might wear, like I would wear with dark lips and smoky eyes, like the vow I abandoned in the hills last time I signed up for math and anger. I return emerging and from the ocean of electronic sound, letters come recounting every past day. I know God comes only in madness and mess, but then there's a photo of me and Carolyn on the shore of the cold, cold lake, exchanging secrets of translation and lust, sitting down on the bench, I take refuge in the Lord of time, Lord of the storm, Lord, O oh Lord, this lake, Carolyn gone, water too cold to swim in. Uh, so, uh, so that Carolyn is, um, C.D. Wright, who, um, um, okay. Sheila Chandra has been rendered mute. The ambassador of sound gray clouds compromised the day auctioned off, siphoned off, betrayed by the failure of nerve endings and science. No cure for burning mouth 
syndrome. She sang in Uzbek, contorted her tongue around words she never knew, learned even the language of the drum away from melody. There is only harmony in the outer districts of the city of sound, ordinary spaces, empty bandstand, atonal landscape, seas, surface in the morning, before the day traffics its contours. In a world governed by storm and noise, why then should a singer not fall silent, though by great suffering her mouth, that orchestra hall of flame, the drone, her most minuscule movement, still do the echoes resound? Even now can I discern them. Anish Kapoor explores the play, sight disappears, rich dark that opens, he makes shapes of them, invites you to understand or learn where the effort to understand fails. Agnes Martin, her shapes of white, absence both, what, when, the throat fails, sounds out. Does Sheila still listen to music? What does it sound like? So one thing you're going to notice about these sonnets, my dears, is that there are multiple turns within them, not a single one. Um, and I think as in classical Islamic art, the concept of decentering is both ethic and aesthetic. Calligraphy is a meeting point between abstract and particular by certain combinations of visual marks to make symbols, Chandra lost her voice around the same time I found mine at midnight. We went to swim in the sea so we could be in the dark and not know the bottom, but the moon lit up the surface so silver, so slammed, and then the boy with the fear of failure, falling, architecture, voice, God, depth, death, he swam. Sheila's voice always in the background, always disappearing into the music of what surrounds it, the way one loses oneself in sex or death, or the moment I got lost in Salman's music. He said it was a surrender of ego when he left me behind, but really it was a surrender of my will. Words too have God inside, but for the prize of the body, they do not compete cannot hold the storm of time, cannot hold the line. Do I touch the ocean inside? Will my family come to my funeral? Um, and then I'll just close with these little um, um, time. I will just close with one of, the, one of the last two sonnets that I was going to read. There's one that I was going to read that I'm not going to read to you. You will have to buy the book. Ha ha. Okay. Oh, in the house of Sheila Chandra, silence do not reign. Sheila Chandra's voice that swells of sun, I am one, what word quells? The chords in the box, the mouth, throat, third voice sought, do not rain and rain my hands, hand me the rain. Will you sing? Can you swing your votes? Vox, Fox in the Hausa, I learned scripture. Stripped her in the roost, roused all the birds to the blue, the moon, sun, singer, singes. Now the world sound, some echo, wind, echo, wing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>